Yo, 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 what's up? It's Dede here with another gameplay. Today I'm going to be bringing you how to get better at aiming with Halo Infinite. So the first thing we're going to do is going to go over the controller settings because that is going to be a huge, huge component when it comes time to taking out the enemy. So the first thing that I do is... I changed to button puncher. Now you can also use uh, default if you want to. But me personally, I like having my melee and uh, my crouch switched around. It's like tactical and warzone. So if you're used to that, button puncher is going to be the one that you want. The next big thing I could tell you to do, you may not think this makes a huge difference, but it does, is turning off vibration. It actually causes you to miss some of your shots, believe it or not, and it can mess with you. So if you're not playing campaign, my biggest recommendation that I could possibly give you when it comes to your setting controls is turning off vibration because it's going to help you out. I have all of this disabled. All this stuff is, is pretty much normal. So, All right, and down here, so we're going to get into the meat and potatoes. Look acceleration, I have set to four. Now, this is not aiming down sights. Keep that in mind. It's just when you're just looking around, four seems to be the sweet spot. Three can work as well. It just depending on how fast you want to look. When you get to the crazier numbers, that's when you start getting your shots taken off. Because keep in mind, most of the shots you're going to take in Halo, you're not going to be aiming down sight. So I keep that on four. Uh, that's for the look acceleration. Going into the look sensitivity itself, I keep those at six. Now you can use uh, four, five, six, and even seven. But I find the sweet spot personally to be six. This is something you're going to have to mess around with. I would highly recommend keeping those the same and not having one different than the other. So again, my look sensitivity and uh, for vertical and horizontal is six. Um, next is zoom level. So 1.4 is typically going to be most of your weapons, right? And then three is going to be some of the other common weapons itself. It's when you get above that that you're dealing with like launchers, sniper rifles, etc., like actual scopes. But 1.4, anything three below you want to have set to 0.6 and that's going to allow you that if you are aiming down sights you're not you're not throwing yourself off target and it's going to allow you to still have a lot of peripheral itself i mean because you're aiming down sights with like a pistol or your assault rifle you have a lot of your peripheral so you want to make sure that you're making your shots count so you can get out of the zooming now again like i said most of the stuff that you're going to be engaging in you're going to be not aiming down sights Getting used to not aiming down sights in this game is huge, along with jumping at the same time that you are shooting, which is why I use the Elite Series controller. Uh, this is the second version. Um, if you can't or you don't want to spend, I think these are $200 on a controller, they do make like $60 ones that are just as good. You don't have to get a scuff controller. You don't have to get the Elite Series X uh, or Elite Series 2 controller. You can get the off-brand ones and they work just as good to allow you to jump because it's got the paddles in the back that allows you to jump while shooting you can map them to however you want you guys know how it works so that really does help out a lot let's go back down here um center dead zone let's move it up center dead zone i have it set to 5.0 and axle dead zone 5.0 the game by default i didn't know this till I looked at my settings um has it like all the way up to 12 which is insane Dead zone is how much pressure or how much you have to move your thumbstick in order to get it to register that you're moving it. So it's just like for 12, you might have to go like a centimeter more than what you normally would have to. Uh, let's go back up here. I think this was on 12. Yep, it was on 12. Um, and we're going we're gonna to be changing that one too. So we're going to change that down to 5. These dead zones need to be five. So as you can see, that one was 12. So it's it's all about making sure you bring it down uh, to something that you're able to register it a lot faster. All right, thank you for making this far in the video. I got a question for you, the question of the day. What is your favorite vehicle to use in Halo? That favorite vehicle to use is definitely the Warhog. If you can get a teammate, you can cause a lot of destructions with it. So what's your favorite? Max input threshold and for both thumbsticks is going to be a 10. I don't see that being too much of an issue. If I find that whenever I'm moving it and it's jumping too fast, then I will bring it down. But other than that, I'm going to keep the max input threshold at 10. 
So the first thing we're going to do is go over the two main weapons, which are going to be your assault rifle and your pistol itself. Seeing how more times than not you're going to be using these weapons because you start with them, and most maps you don't immediately have access to a power weapon. Whenever it comes to short to medium range, the best thing I can advise is using your assault rifle. When it comes to medium to long range, I would recommend using your pistol and getting really good at rapid firing the trigger, right? So first thing we're going to do is over the assault rifle. Whenever we shoot it, we can see that not only is the pattern going up, but it's also scattered. So you can't really do much for the horizontal uh, recoil due to the fact that it's obviously random, but... If you just simply, and it doesn't matter if you aim down sights when you shoot or not. That's why I was saying just get used to not aiming down sights, especially whenever it's medium to close range, because it's not going to do anything for the recoil or the accuracy of the gun. That's not how Halo works. Uh, is just simply hold down on the thumbstick as you shoot, and you'll keep the bullet spread within a certain range. And this would be more like a chest range itself, so it's allowing me to do more damage. I'm being more accurate. So we'll come over here. So it's, oh, it's already went away. And again, you're just holding down on the thumbstick, just practicing getting used to that, and it's going to allow you to be able to control your recoil a lot better. Now, the pistol itself, since you are resetting every time you hit the trigger, because it's not a fully automatic weapon, it's pretty much just going to be going straight. Like, there's, there's just no recoil, really. Because every time that you let go of the trigger, it's resetting like it does in other first-person shooters. So this one's a lot easier to control. I personally find myself using the pistol a lot. But if I do find myself in a situation where I'm going to be dealing with close quarters, I do often use my assault rifle itself. Um, but aim it like whenever you're medium to long range, this is when you would want to aim down sight. And it's just easier to control and... Having your sensitivity set to those those markers that I had you set them to or something that you're very, very comfortable with is going to allow you while you're jumping around, sliding, and going over the movement, which will be another video, allow you to stay on target while doing it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a power weapon, right? So you also want to practice with each and every power weapon for the specific maps. And if it's a gun that causes you to repeat pressing the trigger such as a burst weapon or a single fire weapon the recoil is just going to reset every single time so the shot's going to hit every single spot like the pistol but if it's something you can hold down such as this gun right here your assault rifle the recoil is going to differ so as you can see that one is straight up so this one is 100 percent the easiest to control just simply holding down is going to keep it where you want it there is no side to side or horizontal recoil so learning each and every one of these weapons is going to help you in the long run and then also on top of that when it comes to these maps it's going to allow you to know where these weapons are going to spawn because the biggest advantage you can have now is knowing the spawn points in the game because a lot of new people aren't, aren't going to know them and knowing where the power weapons are so this way you can formulate a plan with the people that you play with or whenever you're just playing solos to get to the power weapons to give you the advantage because the name of the game in halo like any other first person shooter is to have the advantage. The next tip that I can give you in Halo is centering. Now I believe that centering is important in all first person shooters, but definitely in Halo itself. And what I mean by that is where the center of the screen is, right? Where my crosshairs are, you wanna keep this center at all times. A lot of times you'll see people running around. This is especially true in other games like Warzone or Fortnite you know, the list goes on, that they're running around with their crosshairs down on the ground, like this right here. So whenever you see an enemy, you have to come up. And if you're facing someone that's at a higher level than you, then they're already at advantage. You're probably aiming at your head right about now, whereas you would be aiming at the ground and you have to come up. So they're able to get two or three shots off before you're even able to get up there, unless you have your sensitivity, like, extremely high. And again, I don't recommend that because it's going to make you less accurate because most of the time you're not going to be aiming down sights when you are shooting in halo so keeping it at all times aim where you think the enemy may be so if i'm running around the map i think they might be up here it's already centered right there so i don't have to aim down sights i'm used to other games but it's right here so this way i'm able to go ahead and get shots off if i think they might be up there it's up there but never keep it down here at the very least keep it literally in the center of your screen and that's why they call it centering but you want to keep it 
where you think the enemy may possibly be to give you the biggest and best advantage you can possibly have. So the next tip is going to basically be a movement tip itself. It's kind of like a sneak peek in what's to come. And the reason I want to use this one as the sneak peek or the move for you to go ahead and start moving for all those new players is because I feel like a lot of people are coming from other games such as Warzone, specifically Warzone. Um, in this particular map, there's so many gunfights that go on in this area that when if you find yourself running through here, right, they know to look here. And they're going to be expecting you to be standing upright. The best thing, whenever you know there's an enemy around the corner, is slide cancel. Or just slide around the corner. Again, I used to war zone, so slide cancel, please forgive me. Is you just want to slide. And it puts you at a level difference that they're not expecting. So they're probably aiming over your head right now. If they're even centering, which they're not, more than likely. Most players don't. They have it aiming down at the ground, like this right here. Or they're up here, and you're going to be down here somewhere. So it's going to allow you to have the first shot, which is super important when you're playing this game. So practice sliding around the corner and shooting. At first, you may get your butt kicked, but it is what it is. Just keep practicing it, and I promise you're going to get better at the game. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.